Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We're back here on Kabbalist Empires. And as you can see, I tamed up another little camel guy for us here after our last guy got absolutely destroyed by that shadow cat. This guy is a crap level. Let's see, he... I think he was like level 80 tame, eight, or 80 wild, so he's pretty crap, but I just wanted something to get around on. I want to kind of, oh, 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 super framey there all of a sudden. I just kind of want to explore a little bit. I want to get off this beach, perhaps, so we're just going to take this guy. His stamina is a big issue. That's the major issue I'm having with this guy right now. Sorry, Mr. Lystro. I want you hide. All right. But yeah, I just want to kind of get off this beach, perhaps. I mean, we could tame a Pteranodon, but like I said earlier in the uh, one of the earlier episodes, is I don't really want uh, a flyer right away. I kind of want to stay on the ground at least for a little bit. You know, this map is absolutely massive, so we are going to need... A flyer at some point but for now I'd like to stay on the ground but uh, if you guys are enjoying the video make sure you hit the like button and let me know that you are enjoying it at the time of this recording uh, the first video of this series has gone out and you guys seem to have uh, liked it so far uh, the, the reception's been great the likes have been great so uh, yeah, like this one if you do like it, and if you're new around here, uh, please do consider subscribing. We're going to have a lot more ARK on the channel, as well as other games as well. So, welcome to all the newcomers. Uh, so, let's see here. Uh, I, I've never been on the other side of this ridge. Is this just more beach? Kinda, yeah. I don't want anything to do with those ichthys. Oh, God, is that an Alpha Rex up there? Do you guys see that? Hold on, let me let me get a, a vantage point here. Oh god, that is an alpha T-Rex. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try and zoom in uh in the po in the editing, but that's an alpha T-Rex up there. I'm definitely not going up that way, dear god. Apparently the top of this mountain is just a nightmare. Alright. So I did craft one thing up. It kind of glitches out a little bit but this uh viking hat hey so i figured the first uh tribe or empire that we will explore is the uh viking uh empire i don't really know what to call them i'm just gonna call them empire i'm calling this uh series the empire series anyhow so we'll just call it an empire uh, yeah, so the first one we're going to be exploring is the, uh, it's a bit stuck there, was the em uh, Viking Empire. So basically they have a bunch of different, it looks so as if there's almost like pre-made buildings for them or something like that. I'm not really sure. I didn't want to craft too much of it off cam. I just basically made the workbench to uh, see what we had going on. Let me see what's down at the bottom of this here. Just a random cliff. Okay. Shoom. Can I get some levels on this camel, man? Come on, dude. Uh, but yeah, so once we kind of get a little base established, I'm going to start uh, getting into some of the Viking stuff, seeing what their stuff looks like. I'm hoping there's like a Viking boat or something that we can take around this map to kind of get to a different location, perhaps. I wonder if I can use the berry baits on an Equus. Because that would be dope. Um, let's try it out. Alright, let's see what this Equus's level is. Can I get near it without spooking it? What's up, horsey? You're going to spook, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you're level 20 anyways. Get out of here. Get out of here with your level 20 ass. What are you, 15? Crap. And Jewel? 145, okay. That'll do, pig. Shablam. 
Yeah, eat that, homie. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Oh, yeah. That's 14%. Alright, I thought I saw another horse over here. I'd love to get a horse. Oh, my God. Not only because this map is kind of centralized. Or Why can I not jump on this rock? Seriously, game? Seriously? Oh, my God. Uh, not only because this game is centralized around the horses. I just think they'd be great to tame. Great to ride around on. Uh, yep, you're ready for another. Take that. Why are you running away, bro? They usually don't get spooked when you pet them. Wow, that that's different. Okay. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? Shut up, galley. Get out of here. Man, it did not want to be my friend, did it? Oh, is this one of these loot drops? Ah, nice. Oh, level 35. No. So instead of uh, having loot drops that fall from the sky on this map, uh, he the mod dev has put these little treasures all around the map. And supposedly the loot is really good from them. What level am I now? 24. Okay, we got a ways off from that. So, But yeah, so basically these are your loot drops on the map as opposed to... Uh, them falling from the sky and stuff so you know it kind of fits the theme of his map this is like a uh uh an equestrian wilderness and there's it's not necessarily an arc in the traditional sense so that's kind of cool what level are you you're crap nice colors though where did that parasaur buzz off to man i want it this camel is crap is that him in the water over here Ah, uh, there he is. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up? You hungry? Hey, and we got him. All right. A 217 Parasaur. I will take that every day of the week. Let's toss my stuff in there. You know what? I'm not going to put the hide in there, though. All right, camel. Let's go, homie. Let's get out of here. Man, this Parasaur is slow aft, too. All right, that's all right. At least he's got a bit more. No, he does. <laughs> so I ditched the camel. It was like a level 80 for this parasaur, thinking it's going to have more health or something. And it's got like the exact same health. At least its stamina is like way better, though. My God, man. Early game arc struggles. Am I right? All right. I want to get to the point where we can build a little house today. I mean, like, I I can just throw something down right here, but I don't really want to do that, you know? I don't want to live just on this desolate little beach. There's no metal around or anything, right? So I kind of want to get up at least to a place where we have some metal around, you know? We can start teching up a little bit, get some tools and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, Dillo. What's up? What's up? Don't spit on him, Camel. That's just disrespectful. I mean, I know it's a Dillo, but come on, man. It's just rude. Yeah, this is a cool little plane up here, hey? God, this map is so beautiful, though. Oh, what level is this horse? Uh. 55 nope yeah but uh i've been in talks with the mod dev just a little bit i joined their discord just the other day and uh he posts very regular updates he's constantly working on the mod constantly adding stuff and improving it and he he's very friendly as well uh so i i'm gonna leave the discord for the mod in the description as well uh feel free to join their mod uh, discord as well as my own the link will be down in the description you can come chat with me you can follow the mod dev to track this map if you are interested in it i definitely recommend it it's not finished obviously but you know the amount of stuff it has in it already rivals some of the other maps in its complexity already and i mean it'll be a while before you will get to see a lot of that but i mean just look at this right like this map is absolutely 
massive. Oh, crap. I meant to put that in health. Shoot. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, like, look, we've gone... Let me get it to where I can see there. So, we were at, like, 80-20, and now we're at, like, 85-30. So, we've, like, gone way over there to way over here, and we've barely moved it all on the map. So, yeah, this map is absolutely massive. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff to see. I hope you guys enjoy the series and stick around to the point of where we can explore together and see everything this mod has to offer. Look at this little oasis here. This is dope, actually. This is a cool little spot. You know what? Let's put down some roots right here. This is beautiful. Heck yeah. You know what? This'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just chill. Let's bring you over here in the shade. You can just kind of relax. So, like, we got the water source right over here. Is there anything in this water? Wow, this is super beautiful. Oh, shit! There's piranhas. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, that would have been super bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what an idiot. All right. <laughs> oh, this game, dude. This game, though. All right. Let's... Uh, Do I have the wood stuff learned? Yeah, of course I do. I have the... Ingram unlocker. Let's do this smart and just type in wood. That wasn't even smart, was it? Wood foundation. Let's get six of those. I have enough for one. <laughs> oh, damn. Those piranhas nearly killed me. Did you see that? All right. Let's just throw this guy down right there. So we're going to build this little base. Just going to build a little hut. Uh, out of the castle keeps and fort, probably the either the settler or the villager stuff, actually. I think the settler might look nice for a Viking theme. So let me gather up some wood from around our area here. And we'll get a little house started. I'm just going to do a bit of gathering as my tool breaks. And I don't have anything to fix it. <laughs> Good start. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a bit of gathering. I'll wait for daytime as well, and I'll bring you guys back uh, when we've got something c accomplished. All right? See you in a bit. All right, everyone. We are back. So I've done a bunch of gathering. I've crafted up a bunch of building materials. I got some benches set up here. So we got our Viking storage in the back. We got a smithy. We got our settler's table here. I uh, just put a little random table here. And uh, I tested out these torches from the uh, Vikings. What are these called? Just a small torch, I guess. Yeah, these are from the Vikings thing. So I just wanted to kind of get an idea as to what we we're going to do for our base here. And uh, I think I got a, a good little plan. I've crafted up a bunch of building material stuff here. So, yeah, let's get to building, I guess. So basically what I want to do here is I want a little balcony in the back obviously why is that not what okay that was weird uh so i think i gotta go three wide for this and then let's use these guys to kind of round off the front yeah 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 so it gives us like a little bit of a balcony we can sit out here wait a minute what? <laughs> Why does this helm keep breaking? Every time I've got to, like, take it off, put it back on, it just keeps breaking. Oh, well. All right, so there's the balcony. So basically what I'm looking to do here, uh, let's get our window walls, these ones as well. All right, so I want a little front deck as well. So let's put that there like that. I'm going to... Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Pick that up. 
Uh, let's put the double windows on either side there. And then... Yeah, that could be cool if I put the windows like that. On the, uh... On the diagonal bits. Yeah, okay, I like that. And then, let's see, let's put... Just the small windows over here. Yes, yes. And then we'll fill in the rest with walls. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you snap where I want? Thank you. Thank you. One there and one there. All right. So that's going to be basically the shell of our house. Uh, you'll see what I'm going to do right here uh, in a second. But basically, the roof for this is a little bit challenging uh, simply because... Uh, let's throw in our door, I guess. There we go. Uh, simply because the vanilla stuff doesn't snap to the castle keeps and forts. Like, if I want to put a thatch roof here, it just doesn't snap to it, you see? So, going along with the Vikings theme, I, I want to have... A thatch roof so the way we have to do this is by placing a ceiling here first and it's a bit sketchy I mean it's got a little bit of a gap but you know you, you we won't really see it you'll see what I mean in a second here so now I place a thatch wall like that and now I can snap my walls to that now this bit here where I take out these, you do need uh, no foundation support turned on. on? Would that be on or off? <laughs> you need it on S+. Plus. So basically what this allows me to do is I don't need foundations in order for things to stay up there. So once I get a snap point, I can build it up there and then I can take away the support materials and it'll stay. Uh, I... I cannot build without no foundation support. The vanilla building is just... I, I hate it. I really do. I just hate it. Um, on the cluster I play on, we're not allowed to have it, obviously, because uh, it just, you know, it, it uh, allows people to build bigger and more grandiose structures and stuff. And on a, a public... Uh, cluster server you don't really want these huge massive bases and stuff like that floating off in the distance and whatnot right so it makes sense why we don't have it on the cluster but this is mine so i'm gonna do what i want uh let's see here can i get that snap point there we go there we go yeah so i wanted this to be like a uh, rustic little cabin on the mountainside if you will so i wanted the thatch roof just because, like, you know, we're going with a theme that we're like a Viking. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we, we need to have a Viking-style little cabin. So, let's get that like that. Uh, one there. One there. And then one there. I didn't make up enough thatch walls to just be able to do this in one go. But it's okay. I can just pick them up. Uh, yes, that's correct pick those up now get that wall back up I guess I can do this one ah, that will just get in the way might as well just do it one at a time there we go there we go perfect pick that up right there get whoop, what am I doing uh, get the wall up and then we'll get our last roof tucked in there there we go all right so now come back in here toss those in there do i have more thatch ceilings do i have enough i think i made enough one two three four and five perfect now if you see when you come out here look at that looks like a little viking style cabin right i don't know i like it i like it little starter base now for the balcony here i'm going to use these uh, modular archways arch 
archways, whatever you want to call them. I think it's arch, right? Put these in here like so. And then this centerpiece like that. And there we go. We got like a little bay window, sort of, so to speak. Uh, let's put a railing here so I don't fall to my death. Nice. There we go. Look at that. What a beautiful view out here. I'm happy with this already. Uh, oh, I wanted to put these railings out here as well, along here. Create kind of like a deck look. Put them on both sides. Oh, I was so mad. Like, I had to go on a... I can probably gamma down. There we go. Uh, I was so mad. I had to go on an epic gathering spree to get all this stuff. But there were trees right here, if you remember, and some rocks. I wanted to leave those to kind of give, like, some shade to the base and whatnot. And then this trike came over here. And I don't know what the hell happened, but, like... I was gathering uh, fiber over here, and it was, like, way over there, but somehow, like, either my game lagged, or I don't know what the hell happened. All of a sudden, it was just, like, right on me, and I smacked it with my tool, and it freaked out, and just smashed all the trees around here as it was trying to kill me and my parasaur. My parasaur almost died, like, fell down the cliff. Let me see if I can not fall off but yeah it like fell down the cliff down here oh it was a whole big thing but yeah it smashed up my trees and i'm mad but whatever Ho hopefully you know as i play they might come back but yeah i had the forge going in this little hut that we made last time this is the uh eco's viking shed right it just i i wanted to build my own thing we might s put another one of the buildings over here though just to kind of fill up that space and like populate this area i don't know i don't know we'll we'll take that as we go uh, i did build some stairs for here but yeah i i had the forge going and uh, i got myself some metal tools just to make gathering easier and more efficient uh i think i want to put railings there as well yeah that looks cool i don't know if i want to close these in yet though uh let's see what it looks like Oh, I didn't have enough anyway. Okay, let's pick this one up then. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Because, like, can I just... Oops. Can I just easily jump over that? Yeah, okay. I hate not being able to, like, traverse in ways that I want to around my base. So, I don't know. We might take these off again later. We might keep them. I don't know. Let me know what you think. So, I've also crafted up some of this Viking stuff just to make our base look kind of cool. Uh, so let's see what these all look like. A Viking chair. Shabam. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, dope. Look, it's got a little shield on the back. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, let's uh, get these here for uh, the uh, sunset viewings and whatnot. Nice, nice. Um, uh, the banners. Do I want the banner? Oh, oh, that's huge. Okay, let's put these out the front like... Right by these torches, I guess. Maybe, like, right there. Oh, yeah. That, oh, it's backwards. Shit. All right. Uh, pick that back up. Let's try that again. Shabam. And uh, can you go where I want you to go? Shabam. That's annoying. See what I mean with these railings already? Let's uh, reposition this torch. I'm a stickler for detail. And there we go. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. You seeing what I'm seeing there, buddy? Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? All right. Uh, I also have some big torches okay that's pretty big maybe i'll put one on the back deck here like so yeah the light from these isn't so ob obtrusive you know what i mean it's not like the uh the campfires that just throw off an insane amount of light it's kind of like a, a chill little bit of light so I, I i like it maybe i'll put one over here as well just to light up this area at night 
Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's a quaint little Viking house. Looks like something a Viking would live in, right? I made a, up a pig feast, obviously. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that. He's got a pineapple in his mouth. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that's so cool. These Ecos mods are honestly the best thing. They're just so cool. Uh, now I have a little table as well. Let's get this kind of in the middle here-ish. And we got a plate. Yup. Some grog, obviously. You know, some Viking meat or grog or whatever the hell they drank. Look at that. And then do I want benches? What do these look like? Uh, no. Maybe not out here. Uh, let's put these out on the front, actually. Let's put these... Do I want them along this way or along this way? Probably right here, right? And then one on the other side as well. Let's see what that looks like. On the back of a parasaur. Yeah, that's nice. I'm digging it. I really wish I had my trees here. Like... Man, it was so chill. Like, it had a tree similar to this, like, growing up right here. Oh, man. Maybe I'll turn down, like, my, uh, what do you call it? Like, the resource spawn radius or something. And uh, maybe it'll grow back. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Uh, just go over to my water source. I do have it as well, so uh, the S plus pipe intakes can pull water anywhere. Instead of running like giant pipes halfway across the map just to get water, I figured that was just the way to do things, right? So this bugs me that it's not symmetrical. I'm going to have to craft up another one. What are those called? Low railing walls. Settler low railing. There we go. Yeah, that bugs me that it's not symmetrical. If I'm going to have one side, I, I got to have both. There we go. But yeah. This is the house, guys. What do you guys think about that? I am a big fan so far. I, I really like the deck. Right? We can come out here. Watch the sunset from out here. Stargaze from our little chairs out here. Yeah, I like this a lot. Let me know what you guys think of the new base place. This will be our little home base. But I think we're going to call that an episode for now. Let me get out front here in front of the base. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to call that an episode, guys. In the next episode, let me show you what we found. I'm not sure if I've showed this off yet or not, but there are Viking boats. We are definitely going to be crafting up one of those, and we're going to set sail for conquest. So, if you guys liked the episode, please do hit the like button. It really helps the channel out, helps the videos get shared around. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. The first video of this series got some great response from you guys, so I want to thank you guys for your support. And as always, I'm Reckless. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.